What's going on YouTube? It's Lutetium Tech here and in today's video I'm going to show you how you can create a bootable Linux Mint USB drive in 5 minutes or less. Let's get into it. Alright, so the first thing that we're going to do to create our bootable USB is open up our internet browser and navigate to linuxmint.com. This will take us to the official Linux Mint webpage, where we can then click the download button at the top of the window and press latest version, Linux Mint 21. Now this will probably be different depending on how far in the future you're watching the video, but just know that under this latest version tab, click the first entry. Now when you arrive at the download screen, you'll notice that there are a bunch of different Linux Mints that you can download. The only two we'll worry about are Cinnamon and XFCE. If your computer runs Windows 7 or above, Cinnamon Edition is the edition that you want. If your computer does not run Windows 7 and it runs below something like Windows XP or Windows 95, XFCE edition is the perfect edition for you. XFCE is a lightweight desktop environment that is extremely stable and can help make a really old computer that's crashing all the time work really fast. But if you're running a computer that's a bit more modern, Cinnamon edition will be your best bet as it allows you to use all the features that Linux Mint has to offer. For this tutorial, I'll use Cinnamon edition. I can click the download button right below Cinnamon Edition. Now that we're on the Linux Mint download page, we'll scroll down to the download mirrors section and then find the mirror that's located closest to you. Just click on the name of the mirror and the download will start automatically. Now that Linux Mint is downloaded, we can close our web browser. Next, open the start menu on your computer and scroll down to M where you will find the Microsoft Store. Open this up, go to the search bar, and type in Rufus, R-U-F-U-S. Rufus is a free utility that helps to format and create bootable USB flash drives from Windows. Rufus is used worldwide and is one of the most downloaded software for creating bootable USBs. Remember that the device that is selected here will be completely erased and that all files on it will be destroyed. So make sure that you take all the files off the USB stick before we click the start button in Rufus. All right, assuming that all the files are off of the USB drive, we can make sure that this says disk or ISO image under boot selection, and then we'll click the select button right here. This will open our downloads folder where we can then select Linux Mint. We can double click on that and make sure that the boot selection changes to Linux Mint followed by the version number and the version type. We'll make sure that the boot selection has changed to the file that we clicked and that the device has remained on the USB stick that we want to format. We will then click start. It will ask us whether we want ISO or DB image. We'll make sure that it says write in ISO recommended and then we'll click OK. It will warn us that it needs to download additional software to be able to install Linux Mint. We'll click yes. It will warn us that all data on the device will be destroyed. Assuming that the device is completely empty, press okay. All right, so it's been a couple of minutes and Rufus is almost completely done. It's at 99 and there we go. It's 100% done. The box at the bottom will say ready, which means that you can click the close button on Rufus. You can close up the Windows Store. We can go down here to the bottom menu and click this little arrow at the bottom in the start tray and then press on this little USB icon and press eject followed by the name of your USB stick. A safe to remove dialog will appear telling you that you can now remove your USB stick from your computer. And there we go. You completely have a Linux Mint bootable USB drive and it is ready for installing Linux Mint onto any computer. I hope that you enjoyed the video. If you found this tutorial helpful, make sure that you like and subscribe to the channel as it helps more people to find awesome videos like this. My name is Lutetium Tech. See you next time.